So I came here and I'm gonna wait for a car to come out this side. So I scouted around the area to like find the place where there's a lot of street art. Oh, wait, I think I found it. Yeah, it's there. So there's a lot of construction like around this area and it might be noisy. It's around 10.30 now. So yeah, let's check out the street art here. So we are at Bukit Bintang and this is Jalan Alor where there's a lot of street art here. And yeah, this place is quite busy at night and all the stores kind of open at night instead of in the morning. So when we arrive here, there's not a lot of people here. Yeah. And if you guys are coming to Kuala Lumpur, this is definitely the Instagrammable place that you should come to. So like. A few years back when they first painted this street, um, the colors used to like pop so much and everyone used to come here like for their Instagram pictures and now after like all the rains and stuff every day here, um, the paint kind of corroded a lot so the color is not that saturated anymore. So yeah, that's about it. After 4 p.m. this street will be closed and no car will be allowed into this place because everyone will put their tables and chairs out and it becomes a night market here after 4 p.m. So in this place you can literally like find different cuisine like you can get Indian cuisine, Chinese cuisine and yeah every kind of food is available in the street so if you guys like planning to come to KL this is a great place to start there's a wide range of variety of food so that you can choose from. So yeah, if you don't like fish, you can go for chicken. If you don't like chicken, you can go for beef and so on and so forth. And now, I'm actually kind of lost because I don't know which direction I'm going now. So one of the things that you need to be careful is that at night, there's a lot of robberies happening around Bukit Bintang because it is the center of KL. So yeah, keep your things safe and always check your surrounding, like people around you. So in Malaysia, you almost exclusively not use the zebra crossing because we just YOLO. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. So I found a place like, I love the symmetry here. So I came here and I'm gonna wait for a car to come out this side. From all of the shoot, I only have like one lens on my A6000 which is the Sigma 16mm. So yeah, if you're not creative with your shots, it's pretty hard to actually get a symmetry shot with this wide of a lens. So it's actually one of the great things where I think that the first lens you need to get is actually a prime lens where the only result is that you have to walk around and look at the correct composition instead of like zooming in and then just like isolate the subject from the background. Well, to be completely honest with you, I really don't have a team to shoot today because I just want to come to Bukit Bintang and then just like film the street art which is at Jalan Alo, which I finished filming and I have nowhere to go now. Yeah, just like wandering around Bukit Bintang to look at what we can actually take picture of. And also, it's really tempting for me to like change my lens back to the 50 because to be honest, the composition here is not that great because like there's car going around and stuff. So one of the things that I tr really try to practice hard at is that to film at really harsh sunlight because every time I film it's like I have really diffused sunlight so that I don't actually have to worry about like the lighting and stuff like how the shadow is casted. So this is why I choose like to film at midday which is now around 11.30 to 12. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch to the 50mm to take some more b-roll and some more compress shots. So 
that was one hell of a way to like go out and then just like experience what is on the street instead of like sitting at home and wondering what I should do for the next video. So let's start with the first photo, the street up with really really colorful walls. I overexposed this picture because I forgot to change my settings from taking videos to like photos. So if I were to do this again, I would underexpose the picture a lot to like retain the highlight from the sky. So you will notice right away, I put on a graduated filter on the ground. So when you look at the picture, your eyes will direct you to the subject instead of like all those distracting things. Yeah, let's move on to the second picture. So this photo, what I initially think is that I will sit at the bottom row of dirt so that I will look to the end. So it creates this space where it feels like, I don't know, I just like this photo for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, moving on. Yes, this shot. This is the shot that I learned the importance of like, why do we need to shoot in raw? Just look at this. After the edits, it looks like those really old film where a fight is going to begin. I like how the car just like intervenes halfway through the frame and then just stops there. It kind of fills in the negative space of the bottom right corner of the frame. So here's a random shot I took of a person interacting with the owner of the shop. So if you are not aware about it already, there's a lot of stalls like this in Malaysia where they set up at the side. If you are really really thirsty, you can like go grab yourself some drinks and also there's food there. So when I went back to where I started, the MRT station that I come out from, I actually noticed this line where half of the sunlight is blocked by the fence from the right. And then yeah, after some edits to like pop the highlights and the shadows, it looks something like this. I love how the building is like symmetrical and in line with the sunlight and it creates this really, really, really amazing picture. So here are some more of the shots that I took from walking around Bukit Pintang. You can see like most of the before picture is pretty much overexposed and this just shows that I am not perfect either. So even though the highlight is like completely blown out without details, I still find a workaround to like improve my photos and just everything else. So if you guys like this video, you can consider liking and subscribing. And I have an Instagram, it's hq underscore sam. And yeah, my name is Sam. Great to see you again. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Like you walk around here like you wanna be someone else.